church is in our heart, and I, we're all a captive audience keep it there. under the Creator. He called me the devil. I am the devil. <laughs> Steve, I gotta tell you, when I first walked out of here, I said, hey, he looks a lot like... Uh, so be it. My name is Steve Crater. My co-worker, Mark Anthony, has taken it upon himself to force his religious paranoia on all of us in the workplace. He's trying to control the way we speak by banning the use of certain words and sexy language. I'm Mark Anthony DeBello. My co-worker, Steve, represents the people I work with in their use of profane and ungodly language. He says I'm some sort of religious freak because I'm just taking a stand for moral decency and God's commandments. A telemarketer is furious at a co-worker for trying to shove his religion down everyone's throat. Is it right to preach the Ten Commandments at work? Here's Judge Elder. Steve, you are taking your co-worker, Mark Anthony, to moral court. Yes, Your Honor. Because you feel that Mark Anthony is unfairly forcing his religion on you at work. That's correct, Your Honor. Uh, tell me about your work situation. You work together? We work together in a large single-room office. It's a, what do you guys do? It's a telemarketing type of operation. A lot of people there, a lot of communication all day long, back and forth. And Mark Anthony, how long have you worked there? Six months, God six bless. Months. Yes, a sir. long six months. And you worked there how long? Uh, about a year. Mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, when Mark Anthony first came there six months ago, you had, did you have a problem with him? He comes in and he starts talking to people about his religion, trying to shove it down everyone's Hold throat. On. Day one, he started doing this. Maybe the first week it started. Yes. Okay. What what started? Yeah, you know, people God would say, "God damn it," or "Jesus Christ," and he, well, as you see, that's what that's, would happen. That's a sin. Okay. That's a sin. Know. God bless him. So, so Mark Anthony, is that is that true? When and you God, first started is working that there, let me finish, please. Yes, sir. Okay. When you first started working there, you began to what? tell people that their language was ungodly? I began to spread the gospel as I know it. And part of that is to love my neighbor as I love myself uh, and to love God. And in loving God, Mr. Elder, um, we want to keep our fellow neighbors free from sin. Your Honor, I work at a company, not a church. And this is something that, that the accused has to understand. Okay, I have a right not to hear his religion and his religious viewpoints when I'm working and I'm a captive audience and Church I can't is leave. in our heart and I, we're all a captive then keep audience it there. under the Creator, okay? And that language is not only unprofessional, okay, but it's just totally morally inept and ungodly, okay? Now, uh, Steve, did uh, Mark Anthony come to you at some point and say, clean Thank up you. your language? Here are the words that you are using that I find offensive. Oh, it's much worse than that. Much worse well, than well, that. Tell us about I'm going it. to hell. As a matter of fact, Your Honor, he called me the devil. I am the devil. <laughs> okay? And I, not only Steve, that. Steve, I, <laughs> not, not, not only hold that. Hold on, Steve, I gotta tell you. When I first walked out of here, I said, hey, he looks a lot like... Uh, so be it. Yeah, he looks okay. like Moses. He should be living the commandments okay. that Moses does. But it's does. worse than that. Mr. Elder, I've we never taken the Lord's quiet. name in vain, and I don't swear. Ben, ask the, my adversary here if Kevin, our manager, has ever asked in the meeting place for the office people to curb their language and, and to watch their words. And who prompted him asking that? No, you. that's... Oh, so hold, they did. hold on, Steve. So there, did. Was a, there was a meeting? Yeah. At, which, at which time Mark Anthony addressed all of you? This is... Out hold on. A real race. Hold on. Was there? Yes. Tell me about this meeting. Okay. He got up in front of the office. It started out with the thing about, you know, everyone's under stress and people say things. And it sounded fine. He could have stopped there. But no. He goes on and on that he was in praying in, in some kind of position all weekend. I don't on know. Didn't understand. On his knees or something. So he went on and on about it. He was trying to save us. And it, people who use the Lord's name in vain and, and use bad language were going to go to hell. And he went on and on about all the bad things that were going to happen. It's like we were being threatened. I couldn't go anywhere. I'm stuck. I have my own beliefs, which make no relevance to his beliefs. But the fact is, I, don't, I shouldn't have to be subjected to this. I'm there to work. It's a workplace. I shouldn't have to hear him stand up at a meeting that I can't walk out of and talk about his religious beliefs. It's not American. I would, I would ask you, Your Honor, that you have a moral obligation, not only to rule in my favor, but to the maximum amount to make a point to this man that he is wrong. While I may have kept Steve captive for three really minutes, I've him. been held captive by that foul-mouthed language for six months. What was the reaction to the, of the 50 people when you... They when applauded, you, Your Honor. All and of some them? had came up to... I can't... Your Honor, what he hears in his head may be different than what I and hear. And a few, and I... <laughs>
I humbly can't mention those names. That's all I you, can say. Again, no I'm one applauded. Steve, Steve, not a single person not applauded. Not one. There was dead silence. Your objection, once again, is that you feel this kind of language is ungodly, and that, and that you feel based on your religious beliefs, correct? Right? Yes. Thank you. Be right back. Thank you, Your Honor. Is Mark Anthony shoving his religion down Steve's throat at the workplace? What do you think? I think profanity is a weak mind trying to express itself. My God! He thinks you have a weak mind! He just has his opinion. Okay. okay. I believe in good work ethic, mm -hmm. but I think Mark Anthony took it to an extreme. His, he should, nobody should have He's to push... Jealous. But nobody needs to push their religious beliefs on anybody else. But don't you think you're just a little overzealous? You know what? Jesus didn't push when he died on the cross. They led him there. So if that's the direction God leads me, then God bless me. No, I, don't, I won't push anybody. I love everybody. Will the accuser win $2,000? Let's find out. Here's Judge Elder. Moral court is back in session. Steve, you've taken your co-worker, Mark Anthony, to moral court. Mark Anthony is, in your opinion, forcing his religion on you and making you and others at work feel extremely uncomfortable. Uh, Mark Anthony, let me tell you my problem with this, with this case. I do not want to go on national television and appear to be anti-religion. I'm not. Then you should make the I right am, judgment, Mr. Me. Elder. I'm a, believe, I'm a believer, as are probably most people in this, in this courtroom. However, this is not about the message. It's about the messenger. It's about how you're doing it. It's about where you do it. And Steve is quite right. This is a telemarketing company and not a church. And Steve has a right to come to work, do his job, without your turning on him and telling him that he's going to burn in hell for his language. Thank uh, you, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Mr. Yeah, Mark, I did Mark, not tell gonna, Steve he was going to burn Mark in hell Anthony, for his is, language. Mark Anthony, this is verdict time. Steve is this is my burn. time to talk. This is verdict time. Okay, Mr. Now, Elder. maybe Steve will burn in hell. If you may in the be warning, right. Well, I may see him language. there. But the point is, <laughs> but the point is, this is work. There are 50 people there. According to Steve, no one, but no one, had complained about the language until Mark Anthony arrived at the work site six months ago. I understand your passion, and on one level, your passion is quite admirable. But Steve has Christ's been unfairly imposed mine, upon by your aggressiveness. I am awarding the maximum moral offense, $2,000, in favor of Steve the Accuser. That is my judgment. Mark Anthony, God bless you. Mark Anthony, what's your reaction to the judge's ruling? Uh, for an elder, he didn't show much wisdom. I'm still a winner because the Lord loves me. God bless. Thank you. Steve, you won. What's your reaction to that? We have a very smart judge today who was able to see through all of this and see the real issue is what's permissible and what's proper in the workplace. And more than bad language being improper is preaching about God and religion and trying to tell people what to do. That's why I won. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I love you anyway, brother. Oh. Vivian Guzman from Moral Court.